Yeah, yeah, get the credit card. No, get the credit card. Get your keys to the house. Get your keys to the car. Let me go. I need to go. Go where? We go think about some stuff. No, go get. Give me the stuff. Give me the credit card. Give me the keys. Just, just, just leave. Just leave. Give me everything. Just, just, just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah, that's it, boo boo. It's over and done with. It's nothing to talk about. You're he's not the father. You, you're a scammer, like I said, you're a scammer. It's over and done. I'm gonna ask you one more question. Fire away, honey. Okay. <laughs> um, if you have only one place in your heart for one woman, or you want to have one woman in your heart, I think you said, why don't you just commit to one and choose to be faithful to her? I'm just not wired that way. I spent my whole twenties trying to fix myself. I thought you're a man wrong of self-control. You you work out. You do business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can possess your own your own power and do not, direct this it is, the this way you want to direct it. It's not how I am. It's not how I am. I've you tried. think that might be a limited mindset? I think it's none of your business, but, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Okay. I saw somebody say that, and I think that's interesting. I think you're annoying, but I'm not triggered. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? No, you are. You're annoying <laughs> in, in like this goody two-shoes type way, and that's fine. Uh, I'm going to live my life on my terms, unapologetically, like truly. So uh, you can ask me this 85 different ways. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm going to walk out of here the same man. I'm just going to say it. It takes a lot more strength to honor your promise to one person for life. Click follow or subscribe for more. When a man opens up, when he really opens up, don't you use what he said when he was open to prove a point when you want to win an argument. You will never hear the full story from us ever again. And we'll start to say stuff like this. How are you? Good. I ain't good, but I just ain't telling you. Women, let me tell you something. Men are not emotionless. We have deep emotions. We just don't know how to express them. And let me tell you, if you make us feel unsafe, you'll never hear from us again. Men often aspire to a healthy family life, desiring to spend their lives with a beautiful and small family for whom they struggle and earn with dignity and honesty. Unfortunately, modern women often have different priorities. Many prefer to delay having children, believing that starting a family early would hinder their careers and limit their freedom to enjoy social activities. They see children as obstacles to their personal and professional growth. This difference in priorities can make men feel sad, especially when they see their colleagues and friends enjoying life with their children. The longing for a family can lead to feelings of disappointment and frustration. When men express these feelings, modern women often try to console them by explaining their perspective, emphasizing the importance of their career and personal growth. Despite the reassurances, the emotional gap remains, with men feeling a sense of loss and yearning for the family life they envisioned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got something. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Straight up. Straight up. Now, you were about to get tackled by Jerome. I seen it. You Don't hit me up. Don't hit me up. You need to do a flip. You. Are his father. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank to three-year-old legend Amari Brown. Mr. Thomas, you are his father. In the case of Childress versus Davis, when it comes to Three-month-old Isabella 
Childress. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Davis, you are the father. <laughs> In the video, when the judge announces that a man is the father, his face lights up with genuine excitement and happiness. His expression captures the profound joy and fulfillment that come with the realization of becoming a father. This moment of confirmation brings a wave of emotions, reflecting the deep sense of responsibility and pride associated with fatherhood. The man's reaction is not just a simple display of happiness, it is a profound acknowledgement of a new chapter in his life. Becoming a father signifies more than just a biological connection. It represents the beginning of a lifelong journey filled with love, care, and dedication. His joy is palpable, highlighting the importance of family and the innate desire to nurture and protect his child. This moment also underscores the emotional bond that forms between a parent and child even before birth. The man's happiness is a testament to the dreams and hopes he harbors for his child's future. It is a powerful reminder of the impact that fatherhood has on a man's identity and the sense of purpose it brings. Mr. Cole, you are not the father. Ms. Davis, would you like to finally just lay it on the line and tell the truth? It hurts. It's embarrassing. I thought he was the father. Do you know who her biological father is? The truth. Yes, you are. So, Mr. Cole, you've been right all along. I see the tears. You love your daughter, right? Can you tell the court how you're feeling in this moment? Er You claim you've always known Ms. Turner was your child and searched for Ms. Turner for 14 years. Mr. Thompson, you are not her father. I'm so sorry. Determined by this Court. Mr. Mitchell, you are not the father. Modern women sometimes deceive men using manipulative tactics, leading these men to believe they are the biological fathers of children who are not theirs. When the truth comes to light, the sadness on these men's faces is evident, their eyes filled with tears. These men genuinely wanted the children in their lives, having formed deep emotional bonds and envisioned futures together. The heartbreak is profound because their affection and dreams for these children were real and earnest. They imagined a life of love, nurturing and guidance, only to have those dreams shattered by the truth. The deceit cuts deeply, not just because of the betrayal, but because of the genuine love and commitment they felt towards the children. These women, driven by selfish motives, often use their children for personal gain. Their actions reflect a disregard for the emotional well-being of both the men and the children involved. This manipulation exploits the innate desire of these men to be caring fathers, turning a beautiful bond into a painful illusion. found out she was pregnant, even though she said it could be yours or it could be my ex's, did you step up? Yes, ma'am. You did? Yes, ma'am. I did everything. You know, take care of the boys, make sure they going to school. I was, you know, feeding her, doing the cleaning. So you were there participating like the father. Did you sign the birth certificate? No, no, I, I, I didn't sign anything because I wanted the DNA to first. Well, that was smart. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Jones, you are not the father. <sighs> I didn't know. You okay, Mr. Jones? I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I hope you will find comfort in knowing that you did the right thing. And a guy walked up to me, and he's like, well, you look like you need somebody to talk to. Do you want to go to my camper and talk? So, so I go back to his camper with him, and we talked about it, and then one thing led to another. We were, he kissed me, and then we had sex. Let me tell you this. You ain't got to be guilty about it no more. I know about it, and I know you're sorry. Just don't hold it on me no more. That's my baby no matter what and you're my wife. I love you. When it comes to two-month-old Sophia Fisher, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Fisher, you are the father. <laughs> Just because you don't like your baby daddy is not a reason to try to replace him. I'm not in competition with that man to see who the better father is. I don't think it's appropriate that you tell your children it's okay to call me daddy. I'm not their father. They have an active father in their life who shows up on time every morning to pick them up for school, who's at every single game, and who never misses a birthday. It's not fair to that man for you to allow those kids to call me daddy. I want them to know I respect their father, and I want their father to know that I respect him as a, as a father. He may not have what we have. He may not have a lot, but that doesn't take anything away from him as a man or as a father. So you need to respect that. You, you may not agree with everything that he does. He doesn't agree with everything you do. He's still their father. I can't take that away from that man, nor do I want to be in competition with him. I'm simply here to add value to their life and to respect you as a mother, him as a father. I'm not trying to take over anything. That's all for today on Alpha Male. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You can support the channel by becoming a member or sending a super chat. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you tomorrow.